Hi, I'm Shane Phillips, the CEO of the Phillips Group, and we're here at the Human Resource Summit and Expo, the largest HR event in the Middle East, and I'm here with Professor Mireira Las Heras, who is a professor at IESE Business School. Welcome, and thank you for coming on HR TV. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to have this conversation. Well, yeah, and it's uh, exciting to have a leadership professor here with us. And so what are some of the things leaders are going to need to do now as we head into this post-COVID work environment? Very, very interesting question. I think that uh, for me, I think it's a very exciting time for leadership because uh, for the longest time, it was very difficult to know whether someone was a leader or a manager because many people were just like uh, actually managing people with their presence because they had them there. So they were using that lever and that was also a lever of power, you know, giving people power, having their people in the offices. Now, uh, the future of leadership is people working remotely, people working from different workspaces. And so leaders will have to make sure that they actually set the stage for people to work in a way that for them is meaningful, that allows them to develop their skills, that allows them to really perform what they are expected to, but without that uh, power, uh, let's say, tool that was like the presence. So I think it's very exciting and that we actually will need to, or we will be able to differentiate who are the leaders from who are the managers. So those that actually are only managers will not thrive in this new situation, which I think is good news. Well, what would you say is the number one skill that's really going to put the big pressure for leaders as we go into the next five years? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a difficult one because there are so many things. But I think that uh, definitely empathy, right? So I think uh, it's not a new one and it, it might not. So uh, we have, you know, digitalization, we have AI, we have robotics. But we still, when we are leading, we are leading people, right? So, and we are leading individuals. So we have to be able to understand what are their needs, and we have to be able to respond to that so that they are willing to give their best to com the company, to the clients, to society. So I think that leaders are still those who work with people to get them to perform their best. So. Uh, I think that empathy, uh, now that we are not going to be present anymore all the time, will be even a more uh, relevant uh, skill for our next generation of leaders. Well, Professor, thank you so much for coming on HR TV. It's nice to have you. Excellent. Uh, thank you for inviting me. And we're here at the HRSE in the Dubai Convention Center. Stay tuned for our next video because it's coming right up.